happiness. You know, after getting done with the psychology program, I learned about a newer branch of psychology called positive psychology where they investigated and measured happiness. They measured people across the world and uh, come to find out that happiness, contrary to popular opinion, is not based off of circumstance. Happiness is based off mindset. A video we watched, there was a gentleman who had a like six or seven piece family, six or seven kids, and he's the only one that worked. They all lived in poverty. It was in another country. He barely had his teeth, but he was happy. He was one of the happiest smiling dudes you'd ever seen. And then they, they interview someone from America who has all types of stuff, who has all types of stuff. They're not happy. There's an amazing thing come to find out. However happy you are on a normal basis, that's how happy you're gonna be for probably the rest of your life. They've studied people who've won the lottery, got tons of money, they got the job that they've been wanting all their life, they married the spouse they were looking for all their life. They were happy, super happy, for maybe a few years. They come back, they come back to where they were. Come to find out the human mind is much more resilient than evolution wants us to believe, which is a good thing. But we can lose our eyesight. We can lose a child. We could lose our house in a fire. Come to find out, after a few years passed, our happiness level, it has a dip, but it comes back. It comes back and we end up just about as happy as we were before. Happiness has to do with a mindset rather than circumstances. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, if I just had that car, if I just did this, if I just had that. The truth is, a lot of you aren't following your passions. You're doing the same motions that you were told to do throughout your life. You might have a business up in your head. You might have a book you were gonna write a band you were gonna start. Maybe you got something that you never did. Why? Why didn't you do it? Now you work 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, barely have time to spend with your family. It's what we do, we, we spend all this time just to work our life away. I don't think that we need to do that. We're in America, we have opportunity. If I would have done what? my life directed me toward, my family would have been perfectly happy if I would have had a three-piece family and I worked at a factory. Instead, I decided to get a degree in science and go tour the nation in a stupid metal band, huh? But you know what, I'm happy. I'm super happy. I'm fortunate. Some of us have all those things and we're still unhappy. Some of us struggle with chemical imbalances. Maybe it's a genetic imbalance in your neurotransmitters, and that happens. Seems to happen in America a lot more than anywhere else, but it's true. Depression, anxiety, these things riddle us all, and some of us more than others. It's not such an easy answer to change your mindset, but I want to ask you, what are you doing to change your mindset? You just falling around, getting mad, mocking things, pointing out what's wrong with this world more than you are pointing out some solutions? Are you busting your ass? Are you writing that book? Are you digging down in some school? Are you following your passion? Don't be a bitch.